what's going on you guys welcome back to another facial video today i am going to be dermaplaning and applying a henna to my client today we are going to be talking it up so i don't want to see any comments about why my client is talking so much i'm so happy to be sharing this video let's get into it Starting out with the green tea citrus cleanser, this is going to be the perfect wake me up. Let's do a great cleansing and get this facial going. It is really my go-to and it is time for me to re-up on this product in my back bar. If you have not used this cleanser, it is perfect for all skin types. I think it's really important that we really maneuver this cleanser or any cleanser into our client's skin to really remove any debris, dead skin, etc. Time to remove this cleanser. The next cleanser is going to be the treatment. Going in with the Raspberry Refining Cleanser. This has salicylic, glycolic with the tea tree. This is really going to deeply exfoliate the skin in a gentle way. This is not an everyday cleanser. I would suggest if you were using this at home to use it at least two to three nights out of the week. Now manipulating this cleanser into her skin with the sponges, this is really going to do a great job at preparing her skin for the dermaplaning. Time for the hot towel. I'm going to let this stay on her skin for about a minute or until I feel that it's beginning to cool off. And now I'm going to remove it. The enzyme of choice is the lemon zest enzyme. Like no duh, everybody wants nice, radiant, bright skin. This is also a hydrating enzyme. It's not gonna take too much and it's not going to dry her out, which is what my client needs. My client needs an, a gentle exfoliant that is going to help hydrate and moisturize. This enzyme, after that raspberry cleanser and with the steam, can be a little too spicy for some so as you can see i did turn off that steam and i put the fans on her because immediately she was like girl we gotta get this this turn the steam off we gotta get it together <laughs> so i let this stay on her skin with the fans for about 10 minutes as i was removing this enzyme I did turn the steam back on because I do want her skin to be nice and relaxed as I am performing the extractions. It did take me much longer to get this enzyme off when the fans are on because it semi dries and almost becomes tacky versus staying nice and dewy, I guess, if you will. So I had to get the skin really, really damp again to get this off completely time for the extractions there's really no description i guess needed for these so i'm gonna just let this part ride out Now applying the elixir oil and I'm going to start dermaplaning. Estes that are out there, do y'all start from a particular side of the face or do y'all just kind of fill out however the client's skin is and you kind of do what you want to do? I almost always start from the left side of the face. I believe it's because I'm right-handed so it just kind of feels better and more natural and then I go over to the right side. I used to actually start on the right side and then make my way to the left, 
But as I became more comfortable with this service, I don't know, it switched completely. So y'all let me know in the comments, what do you do? What do you practice? Do you oil plane? Do you dry plane? Do you use iodine? Do you use any other slip product? What do y'all use? I also had this part of the facial video sped up because I didn't want to chop it up too bad. So I just kind of fast forwarded. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Also, let me know in the comments if you dermaplane the nose or not. And do you actually dermaplane the neck and under the chin? Now toning her skin with the Cucumber Hydration Toner, my girl needs all the moisture. Applying products after dermaplaning can cause a little tingle, so remind your clients of that. I am now going to make a cocktail mask with the Ormetic Balancing Gel Max from Image and the Ageless Skin Hydrating Serum from SkinScript. I am going to apply this generously to her face and her neck area where I dermaplane to make sure everything is being treated. The Estee Max cocktail mask that I put together is the Hyaluronic Acid and the Egyptian Rose. Time for removal and her skin is nice, plumped, and calm, which is what we all want. Now applying this last hot towel and I'm going to gently remove any residue left over from the two masks. I degreased her eyebrow area with alcohol gently because her eyebrow hair is, because her eyebrow skin, because the skin under her eyebrows is extremely sensitive 
to dyes and tints. That's why we chose to do the henna this time. But I think my client may still have some sort of sensitivity to dyes. We are figuring that out right now. I also clean my client's brow hairs up with brow razors instead of wax because she knows that that hair, because she knows that that skin in that area is extremely sensitive. As I remove this hint, as I remove this henna, you're going to see that the brows are extremely bold in the front. Y'all, she did not leave out like that. After I had put all the products on her, I looked at her brows without the lights on and I was like, oh, okay, let me fix you up. So what I did was added a little oil to a Q-tip and basically removed the henna that way. You do not see that, but I promise y'all she did not leave out like this. I would never, ever do my clients like that, but y'all do not see that on camera. So I apologize that I did not um, show you guys that in advance. The moisturizer I'm going to use is the Hydrating Moisturizer from Skin Script. This has shea butter, rose hip, and aloe. The SPF of choice is without a doubt Image Skin Care Prevention Plus Daily Matte Moisturizer, which is oil free. Lastly, is the Ormetic Lip Balancing Complex from Image Skincare. It makes everyone's lips look nice, moisturized, and plumped. If you enjoyed this treatment, y'all know what to do. Thank you so much for all of the support. I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend, and please, please be safe and smart. See you guys later.